Aries. Aries, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you. I apologize. In I haven't done one of these in about two weeks for you guys. I've been really sick. <clears throat> Nasty colds, flus, that type of shit going around. Um, but we're using a new deck today, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, this is the Phantasm Eyes Tarot. So my first, I've just opened it, so it's interesting to see what will come out for you guys. So, Aries, in your current energy, we're seeing the three of pentacles show up. Now the three of pentacles is then clarified by the eight of wands, the seven of wands, and the page of wands. So a lot of activity going on right now for you. <clears throat> With the Three of Pentacles, this is you being able to work on things, possibly with somebody, where all of a sudden the ideas start to flow. Things really start to move. However, there may be some conflict there where you are not giving... Um, the word that comes to mind is, is grace. It's not a word that I use very often. <clears throat> You're not giving much grace to this person. However, at least that there is communication back and forth with the Page of Wands. So, kind of an interesting start. Now, when we look to the desire, this kind of makes sense with what's going on, is we see the Emperor. <clears throat> and we can see that there's probably a very particular way in that you're wanting to do things right now. And that's why you're not really taking this person's words or whatever. You're working with them, but you're maintaining some type of boundary. <clears throat> with the Emperor, we can see that the Emperor is that individual that has control of everything. They are out there, but they're not necessarily micromanaging. We can see that Stepping up into that Emperor energy, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the world clarifying it. The reason you want to be in this Emperor energy is that you're not really wanting to be, I want to say relying on somebody else. You don't want those feelings of insecurity, whatever those may be. <clears throat> Two of Swords really kind of stuck not stuck. There's a choice that needs to be made where you may need to face some of your fears in order to, for things to uh, take off in a different direction with the world here. So something a little interesting that way. When we look to the possible outcome, we have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is one of those cards where there's a learning curve that's starting to happen. Um, we have it clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Moon. <clears throat> Excuse me. I still have some throat stuff lingering and head coldy stuff, so... There's a learning curve going on here. And you don't like it. With the Nine of Swords, you're wanting to be seen. You're worried that you're less than. And that this may be something that you walk away from in order for things to just go that much easier uh, for you. But yet, it still remains unclear whether that would be the case. It almost feels like um, stuck in a thought process. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where it's almost not like you don't have all the facts. Does that make sense? Now, the Nine of Cups followed by the Eight of Pentacles is what's working for you. 
So you're working on your dreams. You're working on the, those things that you can actually take action towards. Three of Wands and the Two of Cups, you know where you want to be. You can see those things and you're waiting to reap those rewards, which is a wonderful thing. And then we have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is that connection, that connection to whatever you are doing. So this may actually be, um, with the Two of Cups, it could be a connection with someone else, but it can also be a connection to um, the success and the things that you're dreaming about. <clears throat> excuse me so as you're working on all of this you're making you're becoming the right person does that I don't know if that makes sense it's a um, to attract the one you have to be the one I don't know now we have justice the fool the ace of wands and judgment. Again, we go back to choice again. With judgment here, this can be... I almost feel like you're being freed from something. Because we have the fool. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You have everything laid open for you. It's like the constraints are off. Ace of Wands. Again. This is you being able to create that whole new um, beginning with what's in your power. And then judgment. How are you going to do this? This is going to be something that may come back around for you and sort of test whether you're actually committed to what you're going to do. So really interesting. <clears throat> and then a final three cards. We see the Empress. Oh, so we've had the Emperor and Empress throw up. We have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Feeling really grounded, feeling really um, in your element, being able to feel um, alive and being able to take advantage of possibly a new job that becomes through part of this or just a new way of being that is actually sort of, I want to say it's the start of everything else. So we've had the Ace of Wands and we have the Ace of Pentacles. And I actually want to put those together with the Two of Cups right now, where one is filling one cup and one is in the other. So that's what I've got for you today, Aries. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.